Hey everyone, it's Seifer at the DJ Lab. It's like Christmas morning here. Woke up, scrolling through Facebook, and I see there's an update for Denon 3.0.0. And do it through the web. And guess what this has? Just when you think things can't get any better, this has an onboard sampler now. This is going to be cool. More reasons to have all these pads. But now we're in the big debate again. Because I'm getting CDJ 3000s again. I'm not getting rid of my, uh, my, my Denon units. But seriously, Denon, you do things some funny time. And just as I'm about to get new toys, and you turn my favorite toy into a better toy. So... I barely even looked to see how you run these things. I just saw, aha, there's a sampler, and boom. I'm barely even awake. You can hear my voice. I just woke up. I'm like bedhead, uh, groggy. But this is a great way to wake up in the morning. To see that you're getting something new, and you didn't have to pay any money. God, I love that in for that. Always updating things. Do not unplug. Trust me, I'm not unplugging you. Come on. I haven't even had a coffee or nothing. A drink of water. Just do it. And please don't be buggy. That's all I ask. I, I just asked that Denon actually, you know, tested this out. And I'm not the guinea pig. Because sometimes... They'll do things. I don't want to have to kick myself. I used to need to turn on my Pioneer mixer. Sorry, Denon. But I really like this mixer. Uh, look at this. Read only. Sampler content. Oh, they even gave me built-in sampler stuff. Uh, look at this. Uh, let's load up the sampler content. Oh, my God. Yeah, look at that. So it's under the playlist. Did it load up anything? <laughs> Source sampler content. Okay, so we figured out how to load the samples. It wasn't easy. Um, let's check this out. Let's get like a... Uh, What are we going to get in here? Let's get some effects. Let's get a police siren. And you can't do it like that. You can't just hit the button, select it. You have to... You see, even that, I'm really going to work this out. It's not like that. You got to get to say... You can't do the prepare... Can't be loaded like that. Jesus Christ. What a what a dumb way of doing things. There, I did I don't know, it was one tap. So now I hit load and I can pick where I want to load it. You see? Put it on the fresh. But yeah, weird man. It's like there we go. I'm doing it. One tap. Two tap, one, two, three on that case. You see, it's just, there we go. Now we load. It's something they got to change because these touch screens are pretty useless as they are to begin with. We all know that going into the den and stuff, even though they have a lot of great features. But in a live setting, if to try to switch things around and mess around like that, come on, there's got to be a better way. You know what I mean? Like, this is, give me the knob. Let me, let me hold what I want while I hit the select. You know what I mean? And just load it into the sample. Be much easier. 
Wish you guys would let me beta test this stuff before you release it to the public because you would know that's not a great way to do things. Anyways, we got what we got. We got this uh, new touch effects coming out soon, as you saw in the commercial. One more thing to mess up on that touch screen, but hopefully it works a little bit better. Anyways, hopefully going forward, Denon makes gear that doesn't use cheap screens because they're just not good enough for some things. Anyways, my friends, I'll talk to you all soon.